All right, so this is a follow-up video to the uh, GMC Acadia uh, shift to park fix. Um, I was gonna actually kind of show what I actually did to the shifter to prevent the um, pin from working its way back out. This little pin right down in here. You can barely see it. But uh, that's what keeps working its way out. Um, I tried to uh, fix it with a little glue a long time ago and that worked for a while um, but ultimately that didn't last so the glue broke off and the pin came out again and started having the shift to park issues again so um, I'm gonna outline what I'm gonna do now uh, I think this is a much better method so what I did is if you look here, these two little pieces um, are just real thin plastic uh, that I cut just with a pair of scissors. And it, it came from just this, which is a uh, just a little folder um, that you can get from the Dollar General for, you know, 79 cents or something like that. It's really cheap, but it's a real thin plastic. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's thin enough to where it won't interfere with uh, any of the mechanisms or any of the pieces you got to snap in there. And it also um, should be strong enough to keep the pins from coming back out once they're glued in place. But the idea is, is you cut it out the shape of this piece right here uh, where the pin sits at. And uh, so all I'm gonna do is just put some glue on this piece here and then place it in there with the pin, you know, back to where it needs to be. And the pin should not be able to slip out of either side uh, with this blocking it um, because this is strong enough, should be strong enough to where it can't uh, push out one side. So um, I think that's gonna be what's gonna fix it permanently. Um, to keep that pin from coming out. So um, I'm sure some others have come up with different me different methods on how to do this, but I think that uh, this will be a good one and it should last. Uh, I'm gonna be using um, this uh, E6000 adhesive. Um, it's really strong, really good stuff. Uh, I think just putting a little dab of it um, on the back side of this should do the trick and let it cure. So here we go. Probably just put just a little bit. You probably don't need much at all to get that to to work, but just put some pressure on it. Kind of press it down. You can kind of see the glue's kind of squishing out a little bit. And then just repeat on the other side.
So now you can see I got those pieces in there um, covering the hole where the pin goes into and uh, have it on both sides. So I'll just have to let this glue cure and that should be it. Hopefully this um, helps somebody that may have recurring issues. I think uh, this will be a good permanent fix.